Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. We're about a half an hour north of Denver, just off of I-25. My name is Larry Vickers. Today we're gonna to take a look at one of the trucks from our used inventory line. I did wanna mention that we're a little bit different than some of the competition. When we get a truck in on trade or we purchase it, it has gone through the shop thoroughly. We have certified Freightliner mechanics back there and it seems like we average about $10,000 per hauler in the shop. So when you buy a used vehicle from us, you can rest assured that you're buying a high quality product that's gone through thoroughly. So I'd like to introduce you to the 2009 Freightliner M2106. The conversion is sports chassis. The rear axle ratio on this truck is 4.63. The empty weight, 12,820 pounds. The GVWR is 19,500 pounds. This is stock number 5U191472. So today we're going to start by taking a look under the hood. That is the Cummins. 8.9 liter engine. It offers 350 horsepower. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission and offers 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. A couple of things we can see from this side. Here's where we're going to check the oil. Here's the power steering fluid. This is the fuel filter over here. Now directly across we can see where we would check the coolant level. Now when we're under here taking a look at things and kind of checking things, a nice thing about these trucks is if the wind comes up, it's not going to slam down on you. The only way to get that hood down is to manually force it down. We put brand new tires on it. These are Michelin 255. R 22.5. It has two 50 gallon fuel tanks. And even though they are connected as a truck sitting here, you know, they kind of balance each other out. However, you will have to fuel them independently. Under here is our block heater for the cold states or those winter months. When we want to plug that in at night, right there is where we do that. Now this truck co comes with a couple of really practical and nice add-ons to it and we'll start by taking a look at one of these. As we glance into the cab we'll see this red switch. This truck has auto chains on it. So right here is the switch for that. Now with the auto chains and we'll be able to take a look at those a little later once you get yourself on ice or in snow and want to use those, 10 to 15 mile an hour is about max once those auto chains are employed. It simply can't keep up going any faster than that. So they're only for severe cases. When you start your truck, you turn the key about halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and all the way back. And the logic behind that is if we get impatient and it started a little early, there's a chance it's going to send codes that simply don't exist. This pedal here, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you press that to adjust the steering wheel. Now this truck does come with air ride in it. This button right here is what adjusts the seats. Okay, this is for the lumbar and this is for hot or cooled seats right there. As we take a look in the back seat, just like most haulers, the back seat does make down into a bed, and we can put that back seat up simply by the flip of a switch. Right there. As we walk around the truck, there's, this one comes with a large storage component right here in addition to a smaller one back here. 
I believe if we can zoom in underneath the truck right here, you'll be able to see those auto chains that we visited about. Now they don't wrap around the tri the, tri tri the sorry the tire as we first as you think about with auto chains. They ha have an arm to them, and that arm extends out, and there's a wheel that butts up against the tire. So as you speed up, that your tire initiates that wheel, which puts those auto chains to come down on the ground. So they go in front of the tire to assist you in getting out. When we take a look at the rear of the truck, the first thing we're going to notice is the hitch. This is the second add-on I was talking about. That is the Hensley hitch also known as the trailer saver. So as you can see, there's airbags underneath. So that gives you a couple advantages. One, it's easier on your trailer because when it's bouncing, it's bouncing off of air. Plus it's easier on your truck because it's, it's not as stable. It gets you a little flexibility to that. Now you can easily swap that out with a gooseneck ball. It's just a square hitch. You pull that pin out and you can easily swap those out. So if someone has both trailers for a fifth wheel and a gooseneck, it's a very practical purchase, a very great add-on to have. Back here, this is for the Voyager system. The backup camera hooks onto the, uses this system, and you can hook up to three more cameras right here for a total of four backup cameras. This is where we hook up our lights. And as you can see, it already comes with a hitch for a traditional bumper pull as well. As we come around and take a look at this side, you can see no dents, no scratches. Everything is in great shape. The storage capacity matches the storage capaci capacity on the other side. Right up here, is the other fuel tank. I visited about them it having two. Right there's the other one. As we take a look here, you know the first thing you notice whenever you glance in is just how much room is in the M2106s. So that coupled with the air ride, you're gonna be able to drive for miles and then basically feel just like five or 10 minutes. From this angle, we can get a very good shot of the DVD player. Now let's crawl on in and take a look at the inside. Okay. So again, we turn the key halfway. And then fire it on up. So as we take a look at the inside, let's start at the top and work our way down. All right, so right here is our air horn. As we come down, the gauges are pretty self-explanatory. Fuel is over there. This is the air pressure gauge. And as you can tell, there's a lot of air running through here from the air ride seats to the lumbar to the cabin. That monitors all of that. Over here is water and transmission. Now on this side, this is our, our cruise control. As we come across, this is our intermediate, our intermediate markers to communicate with truckers as we're going down. We can and we will hook up Bluetooth for you if you purchase this specific truck from us. This is our dump valve, which dumps the air in the back um, suspension as we're going to hook up our trailer if we need that rear end a little lower. That's what does that. This gauge is for if you have an air trailer, if you have air brakes hooked up to the trailer, that monitors the air going through that. Mirror heaters are locks. This does all of the windows right here. As we go across, our locks, our engine brake. Now these are, you can put it on low or high. So if it's on low, like it is there, that affects three of the six cylinders. Now that's a true engine brake. So not only does that restrict exhaust coming out, but it also restricts fluid going in to the valves. So not just the exhaust. So 
If it's on low, it's three. If we kick it to high, if we're in the Rocky Mountains right next door and coming down a steep grade and need to kick that on high, now we're actually affecting all six cylinders. So not only does that make things more practical and functional as you need to decrease speed, but it also maintains wear and life, wear and tear on your brakes as well. This is our manual regen right there. And we'll probably never have to use that. That's more stop and go traffic and big city stuff like that. Uh, most of my co customers use the trucks to get out and go coast to coast, you know, across the country. So it'll just regen itself. So chances are we're never going to have to use that. This is a switch here is for our backup camera. As we come down to our climate control, very, very basic, very, very simple. Just how fast you want the fan to run. Now this particular uh, truck does have a, a large amount of storage space inside as well. If you could take a look in there, that's pretty deep, guys. That goes clear down to there. It comes with the manuals. Also, another storage component right there. There's actually the remote for the DVD system as well. So really a unique and terrific truck. You know, it's got some cool add-ons and features to it. It's very practical and will make somebody a great truck. So if you have any other questions about this or anything else on the lot, please give me a call. Again, my name is Larry Vickers. I can be reached at 970-370-4067. The work line is 303-684-3404. Or feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you next time.